Hello again, and this is part two of a, a build I've been making. You, you'll see part one of the, the build. Oh no, some naughty people being a tacky kind of behaviour. But basically, I've, I've just created this character, which you'll, of course you'll see in the, the first part of this video. So just fresh out of the vault. And I'm trying out a, a new exploit, where I equip a, a jetpack ring and go straight to good neighbor to another mod which provides a, a a massively op overpowered weapon and massively protective overpowered armor so once we're equipped like that we're we're almost god tier should be virtually indestructible and can do what the hell we like for the rest of the game so it empowers us to to do that to really have fun so I think good neighbors over there beyond that tower the tower in the middle of the screen where the dot is but we're going to be passing over many notable locations and just to show you um mods we're using well all the mods I've got active hurry up we're in a hurry here so it's primarily building mods because that's what I enjoy about this game most it's the, the building but maybe you couldn't give two shits about building in which case all well, this is irrelevant for you I don't have any weapon mods, so I only discovered this particular weapon and armor came with this house mod by by accident. Because normally I don't pay any attention to that sort of thing. The good neighbor. Safe house. So once you've got the safe house, you have a look at it, a good rummage around, and you find this incredible railway rifle. And um, I think it's railroad, it's railroad armor, which I suppose would be considered light armor in any other game. Uh, it looks like leather or just leather and cloth, ballistic fiber kind of stuff. But you'll see when we get there. So there's that mod, good neighbor safe house mod. It's kind of essential. The rest is all building related but, uh, and weathered environment mods no borders so you can see this is all all to do with creativity with building settlement building primarily apart from this ultimate jetpack and the good neighbor safe house. The ultimate jetpack is incredible, you, as it says here. A jetpack without the need to wear power armor. It's just a ring, a ring on your finger. And it functions as a, a full jetpack 
It doesn't use fusion cores, doesn't drain fusion cores. Immune to fall damage. Jobs are good in. Discovering MIT, the Massachusetts Institute. Which has the institute below it. Oh, but that's too much of a, oh, that's not too much of a game spoiler. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, I believe. MIT in the real world. direction roughly. Go to the map. So we want to be going about here for good neighbor. Somewhere around about here, I believe. Oh yes, I should level up. I'm still just level one, I think. <laughs> what should I be leveling? Heavy guns, I believe. <laughs> Start with that. Bada bing, bada bang. Can I do anything else? No, it just doesn't seem I can. I have to level up again before I have another point available. I made my character quite intelligent. Not very lucky, but very intelligent. <laughs> Next has been strength. Then endurance, then agility, and equal perception, charisma, and luck. And here we go. Not far now. Drop off at the theatre, I think. An open air theatre. There's Swan's Pond over there. The meadows. Is it the meadows? Hello there. there. I'm just passing through, sorry. Goodbye. Common, that's it, Boston Common. And there's a, a giant super mutant in the pond there, one of these super mutant gargantuan dudes, right there. That's him right there, having a snooze in the pond. And I've just leveled up again. But we go into stealth mode while I check my lava. Gunslinger. Hmm. Next one into stealth, I think. 
Not far now, we're closing in. Righty ho. Oh yeah, Park Street Station. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Hello, goodbye. Kaboom. Something went bang there. And super mutants at play. Good neighbor, right there. Into good neighbor. Stop hiding now. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Really? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. <laughs> I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time? You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love, Finn. Or Mayor Finn. Let's see where to go. So the apartment is up there. You keep letting outside. See where you can the, see the curtains or our drapes, as they would be called in America. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Hey there, there. Has he got any good pickings on him? Bottle caps, some more 308. It's not every day I get mugged and witness a murder right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough. <laughs> good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool. You'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Mm, Okie dokie. Moving on. Hey. So here we're in Good Neighbor. So the mod in question is this apartment up here. Route of Freedom. So part of this apartment that's through that use these camouflage doors very cunningly done you have some power armor or power armor frame and quite a few pieces I'm not entirely sure if it's the whole the whole kit and caboodle it's all t51 I think so t51 power armor at least a good few pieces of it Shipment of screws. We'll have those. There's a torso in there. Torso there. And another torso there. One torso, two torso. Is that right? So that's part of the mod. In fact, all these lights here are part of the mod as well. So the mod author really has done quite a lot. Even though the apartment is really just on this floor, the attic room. 
If you bring Codsworth here, he'll do your dishes for you. You'll stand and do the dishes. So look at all this stuff. You can't pick it all up, but you've got your chem station here. Some wonder glue. And here's the weapon in question. You know, look at that bad boy. There should be some armor here. Oh, there's the claw hammer, gas mask with got I mean, two or three gas masks here. I think it's a mark. Mark one gas mask with goggles. Mark two. Take that. And have a look at that. And here we go. So there's the ballistic weave we can have. Some mark. Was it? Mm, it's the mark. Is it mark six? V one. Mm, armored coat. Fridges full of all this. Incredible good stuff. I think it reloads every time you you come here. So you can empty it and go away and over a period of time it'll refill. So if you have cods with a companion, he does as they are dashes because we're a bit of a mucky pup. Oh yes, you can read some stuff here. So if you want to read this, you can freeze frame. Get a still shot of this. And again. Next. Next. And finally. And there's also this, the hub quest. I'm not gonna go into that, it might might be a spoiler. So there are quests related to this, you know you not not only have you got this the incredible atmospheric disgustingly cluttered or gorgeously cluttered house depending on your opinion. I love it. I love all this mess. Light bulbs and stuff that you can pick up. Dog tags. There's lots, a lot of stuff is static and just there as ornament. But there's also a lot of stuff that is usable. Incredible good stuff. There's a tremendous mod. So 50, oh, 3, 000, look at that, the ammunition, 3,050 caliber, 3,000 railway spikes, metal helmet, so there's ma masses of armor and so on. See how it compares to the railway armor or railroad armor that we're going to be putting on. Might as well take out all the stuff and see and compare, see what it's like. If you don't like the curtains open, you want some privacy? Close the curtains! 
when they're closed. Much more intimate. You have your balcony here. And the view of good neighbour down into the streets. So the mod author did an incredible job here, I think. It's a very um, realistic dwelling. I've got a bathroom here. That's the grubbiest bathroom I've seen for a while. Oh dear. Neat Codsworth to clean this up as well. Oh, look at that sink there. Oof. And we drink the water. Without rads. Oh, we're taking rads, so we better not. Oh. Let's put on some of this gear, see how it compares to all this ballistic weave as well. Let's we'll see if that is replenished also. Anything in that bag? No, nothing down here. Have some more wonder glue. Wonder glue is wonderful. So we go into our inventory. The ballistic weave hood. Ooh, damage resistance. Two hundred and fifty plus plus plus. So I'm gonna put that on. So at the moment, our, our armor is, if you look at the bottom right corner, five. Put this on, this hat on, and it's now 255. That gas mask and goggles is not too shabby. Still ten times better than nothing. That one's 20 times better than nothing. But look at the railroad armoured coat. 930 armour. 250 protection against energy weapons and electricity. 100 against radiation. Amazing stuff. But we took off our drifters outfit. When we put that on, and I think it works the same. If we're wearing our vault outfit, we would lose that in favour of this. But I don't, I don't know. I can't remember altogether. See if it happens. I, if I put the vault armor back on, yeah, we lose the railroad armor. So keep the armor on, and that's it. An incredible mod. So what am I? I'm, I'm only... I'm only level 3. Is that level 3? Straight out of the vault. Just made this character about an hour ago. In fact, there's another video where you can watch me creating this character and beginning this quest. Stats. So level 3. And I'm already overpowered, effectively god mode. And the game is my oyster, so if you can... You're super powered to do anything you like now. And thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Found it interesting, possibly useful.
So there are two mods required. Loading. Thank God this is not the PS4. It would take years. It might even crash. So ignore all these building mods. The one we want is a good neighbor safe house. And to make that available more easily, ultimate jetpack. We can virtually fly from from Vault 111 straight to Good Neighbor and pick up this tremendous armor and weapons. Be virtual god. This is my first time doing this, so I'm going to tell you what it's like. <laughs> or you can experience it yourself. So thanks for joining me here in Fallout 4 on the PS5, trying out this new exploit. So thumbs up the video, give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. I mostly do videos about building and construction, about the creativity in games like Fallout 4 and Elder Scrolls Online, even games like um, Hogwarts Legacy, which is going to get some more DLC, I think, in the near future. So I'll be back there, being creative in in the vivariums, making stuff, and playing with my cute animals, or in Elder Scrolls Online, furnishing and creating houses and interiors. They do say that housing is the, the end game behavior. What to do when you've done everything else. Building the creative aspect of it, which in Fallout 4 is settlement building. You can see some of my other videos where I, where I give tours of settlements I've built and houses I've built. The potential is incredible. You can build the house of your dreams, or the, the castle of your dreams, the palace of your dreams. And live vicariously in this game as you wish you, you could in real life. So thanks again for watching. Take care and ta-ta for now. Cheerio!